Hello, good evening once more, and welcome back. It's time for devotional. Shall we go ahead and pray? Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord God, <clears throat> what a beautiful thing, O oh Lord, when we walk blameless before your sight. That's a beautiful thing that we always consider you and ask your blessings in everything that we do. So, Lord, bless us, your people, now as we meditate upon your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessed are the blameless. Psalm 119, 1-5 Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep His statutes and seek Him with all their heart. They do no wrong but follow His ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees. Enoch and Elijah are the two people mentioned in the Bible who did not experience physical death. Now, let us trace back the situation of the world during the life of Enoch. His father, Seth, was described by Sister Ellen G. White in Patriarchs and Prophets, page 80.1, as someone who was more novel in character in comparison to Cain or Abel, and had a close resemblance to Adam. After the death of Abel, Cain left and settled far from his parents. However, over time the descendants of Cain multiplied and some of them settled close to where the children of Seth resided. To avoid cross influences from Cain's lineage, Seth's descendants withdraw to the mountains. The separation between the children of Adam carried on from generation to generation after the death of Abel. His descendants of Seth remained faithful to God for a long time. But eventually they slowly mingled with the people in the valley and intermarried with them. Ellen G. White stated, many of the worshippers of God were beguiled into sin by the allurements that were now constantly before them and they lost their peculiar holy character. Patriarchs and Prophets 81.2 Many of the descendants of Seth were influenced and thus forgot to honor God. Their hearts were darkened under the influence of the enemy, and sin spread like a deadly leprosy. leprosy. Patriarch and Prophets, page 81.2 Enoch, who was one of the children of Adam and Eve, walked a godly life throughout his life. He relied solely upon the Lord. Enoch sincerely realized the sacredness of being called a child of the Most High God. According to Sister Ellen G. White, he did not become a hermit, shutting himself entirely from the world, for he had a work to do for God in the world in the family and in his intercourse with men, as a husband and a father, a friend, a citizen, he was a steadfast and wavering servant of the Lord. Patriarchs and Prophets, page 85.1 Enoch lived for 300 years and we found in Genesis. You see, my friends, all throughout Enoch's life, 300 years, he stood with his faith, always asking the Lord, his, the Father in heaven, to have a closer walk with him. He did not experience physical death as God took him. Genesis 5.24 He received the favor of the Lord because his desire is to always always asking and having God to walk with him daily and every moment of his life. He 
is the same promise that we can have even now too. We can walk with God as long as we allow God to be part of us and experience a closer walk with Him by constantly communicating with Him and having Him be part of your life and all decision making that you do. May God your priority and God will do mighty things beyond you can ever imagine. And that is the experience that we can learn from the life of Enoch, to walk blamelessly before the Lord. May you are blessed today's or tonight's uh, devotional, and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. May we walk humbleness and um, blameless before the Lord. Just have Him to come to us and be part of our flesh, our soul, our hearts, and our minds. God bless you. Shall we go in and pray? Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord God, what an inspiration, O oh Lord, from the story of Enoch. Lord, help us to walk humbly and to always follow your will, to ask your blessings, that you will guide us in every little things that we do, small things and big things, all decisions that we have to have you part of us, O oh God, of our lives, every single moment. And may your name be blessed on high. Thank you, Lord, and may you bless your people now as we go. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I hope I will see you again tomorrow night. God bless you. Bye-bye.